Hello there, it's Brian here with the North American Guitar at Winter Nam 2020, and I'm here in the Nick Hoover booth, joined by the one and only Mr. Nick Hoover. It's such a pleasure to be here. My pleasure. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> so, really exciting times. We've got loads of, well, you've got loads of beautiful guitars out here, first and foremost. It's a gorgeous spread, but some great new custom options, a new model. There's a lot to cover. It's really quite incredible. But should we start here with the Surfmeister? You're saying there's some interesting new stuff going on with the bridge. Yeah, uh, we have, we're working with uh, the company Mloy, which is a Herios brand, and that's a 3D printed bridge from a morph metal, which to really explain this, I would need to go into detail, but basically the material is stronger than steel, does not absorb any vibrations, so it's really resonant, it's harder than steel. It's, there will be more coming up very soon, but it's, uh, if you look at the bridge, <laughs> it's very cool. Mm. It's, and next to it, that it's a very cool design, we will tweak with those hollow chambers, um, concerning sound tweaks, there's something coming up. So that's the prototype, I cannot tell more. <laughs> there will be something new. <laughs> I'm so excited to hear how that thing sounds and how that responds, because that's got to be a, yeah, a really interesting piece. This Crowdster is eye-catching to say the least. What's going on here? So we have um, a Crowdster with our copper coat finish, which is basically a real copper, so it's and, which oxidizes. We have, um, actually, we, we would deliver screws, <laughs> but we leave it up to the customer if he wants to mount the picker or not. <laughs> oh, wow, that's yeah. such a cool option. I didn't realize that you had that yeah, as a... You know, since the top has a nice finish, mm. we thought, well, maybe he likes, the customer would like it without picker or with we, um, screws on the case. <laughs> so the inlays are also copper, surrounded by sterling silver on an ebony board. And um, the, the guitar itself is made from black limba. Oh, wow. And it's hollow, it's very lightweight. So we, we did quite a few guitars recently with black limba because we have a proper stash of the wood and have not really used it in the last time, but we're just starting to use our wood stash. I gotta tell you, I mean, I haven't done a single video or like introduced someone to one of your guitars without just losing it about that neck heel. It's the just such year. an incredible design. I don't think I can ever speak about it enough. It's... Yeah, I mean, that was... Well, the neck heel was the first time it was on a dolphin. And when I designed the dolphin, it was a very, very rainy uh, vacation in Netherlands with my wife. And I had a lot of time to draw and do things. And that was the first time I came up with the dolphin shape and the first versions of the neck heel. And if you see a dolphin from 94, with an, the, the neck heel is really crappy. <laughs> so it improved over the years. Oh, it sure, and, and, sure has. And it became like kind of a signature detail for all, all our guitars have this. Oh yeah. No, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Uh, where do you want to go next? Because there is an array of colors. There's well, just, I mean. We have, we have this. Orca with turquoise inlay surrounded by silver. Maybe the inlays is not is something we have not seen so much before. Uh, Spanish cedar body, flame mahogany neck, and kind of a unique looking top. Mm. 50, it's a 59 with a lot of different options. So wow. That's it. Then kind of an unusual Orca 59 with a maple neck. Oh, wow. Uh, matches the bar and a purple burst for our friend Kevin and uh, only two knobs. Ah, two. yeah, we yeah. missed two. <laughs> <laughs> Silver inlays, ebony board. It's beautiful. It's simultaneously really simple, really stripped back, and also one of the most extravagant <laughs> guitars out here. It's, it's, it's <laughs> a fancy top, it's a fancy neck, yeah. But uh, so, there, yeah, that was custom ordered. What else? We have a very nice 59, like you know, you, have, you had in your store. Yeah, yeah. Nice I, white flames, Spanish cedar water also. I like this top a lot. Mm. Wavy kind of figure, not so straight. Then we have something new. Now this so, is really exciting. So this, um, we wanted to have another bolt on kind of the, uh, in, the in the Fender world. 
kind of guitar. So um, guess what? It's an older body with a bolt on maple neck. <laughs> you heard it here first. Absolutely mind blowing, groundbreaking stuff. Yeah, I thought it would become <laughs> very innovative with wood choices. <laughs> But, but it is but so intrinsically Huber, straight off the bat. I'm happy to hear that. So, bold on neck, and um, what also was on the list is have, a, yeah, the, the shape, the tummy cut got deeper, so that's all more familiar, which we know from the Fender family. And the finish is out, super thin nitro satin, direct, no base coats, it's just the finish directly on the wood, so um, that's the thinnest finish we can do. And the mastery tram and bridge, always a wonderful thing. Mastery, first time we used, I mean, the bridge is, was seen very frequently the last time, but um, finally we also do it. That's our first mastery guitar, so and um, I like it a lot. The pickups look cool, I think, so we went with Harry Heusel to make a new design, which goes a little bit into the gold foil look. Right. So nickel covers. And um, so that's the mastery version, and then we have another one with a stop tail bridge and the two P90s. So this is amazing. So with the pickups, obviously they look like the sort of cross between a P90 yeah. and a Gold Foil. In terms of the voicing, is there anything you've worked in particular with Housel? Um, the, for these guitars, we have our regular um, 9056 P90 in that housing. Of course, it changes a little bit if you put a metal cover over a pickup, it changes a little bit the sound. But we want, definitely want to go in. We, you, you can do so many things with this kind of pickup. We will do um, a version with a single magnets, no bar magnets, so single magnets and then wired, which is more like a strat kind of or tele kind of a pickup. We could do that. So there's more things also in the loop concerning this. But it's the intention was. Again, like next to the crowd, so we have something simple, functional, playable. You, you want to scratch this guitar. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's road ready and just and absolutely killer. Plain wood, so no, nothing fancy. So that's, and we also, for the summer NAM show, we will come up with a new, very high end kind of guitar. Uh, okay. That's, that's something to keep posted. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And then. Another Surfmeister with um, our candy apple lime, which is kind of Clement's favorite color, and I, I love it. it <laughs> that Clement's always brings the new kind of, for me, very new and sometimes odd colors. And then we see the guitar, and damn it, that looks really cool. So we're doing a lot of crazy metallic colors right now. It's a bold move, and it really works. I mean, with yeah. the Surfmeister, that's yeah. just. Black bindings yeah. is nice. Then we have the Riedbergen with a rusty finish. So this is interesting. What's the the deal with the rusty finish? Is that? It's also there's real metal in the finish, and you can yeah. really make it oxidize, and then you stop the process with a coat of clear. And um, yeah, that's um, that's something we have done only on the Krauser so far. And now that's the first one. That's the first Riedberg with a rusty finish. It's a really striking thing. I mean, it's it's so great that it's got such an organic process to the end result it's not like a relic or you know it's something different. of that it looks different like, it, it, but it's beautiful we yeah. did one browser in white back a couple of years ago and it looked like an old worn fridge like <laughs> this like cream white rusty so next to it there's another base um, we do a base since a couple of years and um, <laughs> so for them one piece redwood top mm. ebony board and that's the bag. Also oh, play maple. I mean, swamp ash body, dark, dark pores to make this kind of cosmetics. Yeah, we we have a lot of fun with the bass, and we have some good artists playing this, and we get more and more artists. Mm. <laughs> and I mean, I love the uh, the redwood you guys get and you yeah. use on your guitars. I mean, we had um, obviously a couple of the redwood models. Yes. But we've also had the Adam Miller signature models, and we had one recently with a single piece yes, exceptional one, redwood top, and oh, yeah. that was yeah, just George. Well. Yeah, Adam Miller. Adam is also coming to play, so he's around. Yeah, Adam we Miller just bumped there. into him. We're gonna yeah, yeah. have a proper catch up at some yeah. point. It'd be great to see him here doing what he does so, yeah. so beautifully. So redwood base, redwood top. This is also what we haven't done before. That's the Twangmeister with a maple top. We haven't done this before. So. Quilt, a very nice quilt maple top, a very nice flame maple neck, 
One Piece All the Body. Yeah, um, yeah. Twangmeister, Maple Top. It's just Usually gorgeous. This hardware as well is just so right for just how, <laughs> how overwhelming that maple is. Inlaid, inlaid control plates. Also, the neck plate is inlaid, like on the on the new model as well. And then right on the end, this is just ah, oh lovely. But this is just exquisite. Uh, a dolphin, pearl maple top, hollow, countercuffed. Fall and a Madagascar rosewood there. Wow. So um, it's funny. I I really have a good stash of Madagascar rosewood decks, and we haven't really used them. It's like the black limba, it's there since years and years. So we're now bringing this finally. I mean, if it's going to surface, it's got to surface on something yeah, like yeah. this. That's it's, just. It, I, I'm, I, I'm a big fan of rosewood necks, which actually told I got this from Paul Reed Smith when I when he was showing me how to make guitars and Paul I think Paul was also making the rosewood neck in the electric guitar famous. I I know there was a Telecaster, the George Harrison, which you could not lift because it was so heavy, but rosewood necks sound so beautiful. <laughs> so I love it. By the way, I loved your blog lately yeah. on the dolphin and the origins of. Yeah, things. we don't have so much dolphin stuff in the apartment anymore. <laughs> but at that time, it was really uh, my wife was a dolphin geek, <laughs> and she has a tattoo. And it was like, hey, I need a logo. So there it is. Oh. If anyone hasn't kept up on the uh, the Nick Hoover page, there's some yeah some great blogs yeah, we're, coming we're out. We made two so far, and they're, they're coming out. And I uh, I have to commit myself to do one monthly. <laughs> <laughs> so so check out the monthly blog. I mean, I'm there waiting every yeah. month now. I'm just going to be there, sat by the computer. Yeah. Ready to go. I mean, it's just such a great read. But yeah. Man, thanks for taking the time Thank to show you. us around. There's some really exceptional guitars. Thank you so if you much. want to know any more about anything here, please don't hesitate to get in touch. If you want to see more from our NAMM show, please do subscribe to this channel. Yeah, it's been a real pleasure. Thanks. Likewise. Thank <laughs> you for stopping by.